Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best AI grammar checker that are both free and paid. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video. All right, so the very first uh, free grammar checker that I like to use is actually Google Docs so what you would have to do is install either you can upload a document or just cut and paste a document in here I'm just gonna do the second option and for that I'm gonna go ahead and use a PLR article so I'm gonna go here I'm just gonna use this as a sample text and then I'm going to go ahead and add it in here. Now, whenever you add, I don't like, there you go. Whenever you add the text in, all you have to do to check for both grammar and spelling is look for the icon on the top left-hand corner. It has a A with a check mark, or you can alternatively uh, click on Control Alt and X. Okay, and then it goes into effect. So it okay, is spelling and grammar. All right. Ignore, ignore, liberates us from the reincarnation cycle. Okay, that makes sense. That one's those whose nature allows them to. Okay. And then you can see how it works. It's not bad. It's actually pretty decent. It picks up. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of information on read readability, but it does a pretty good job for a spell check and maybe uh, some gra like major grammar mistakes when it comes to like uh, tenses. It, it does a, a pretty good job of that. Now, this is probably the one I, I use often because you don't really have to install anything. It's there. I, I use Google Docs anyway. It's online. It's in the cloud. And it's free. So for me, this is probably one of the best free grammar checkers that I use. Now when it comes to paid uh, grammar checkers, those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that I like to use something called Grammarly. And I use the ED, uh, EDU edition. Now most of you are probably wondering why would you use an AI grammar checker? Well if you're a student, you, you type a lot of articles, <laughs> you type a lot of emails. If you're in business, you type a lot of definitely a lot of emails. Um, if you're on YouTube or a content creator, you, you want to check your script or if you're in my case, I use AI writers to uh, generate their written content, but I still need it to check the script and to make sure that it has decent um, grammar. So what I like to use, I use the premium edition of Grammarly. Uh, I just pretty much click on the new. I go to the website and click new and I just, I'm going to go ahead and paste the same document. Now this one has more features obviously because it's it's paid, but uh, you can pick the domain whether it's academic, business, general, email, casual, creative, intent. You can use it to inform, describe, convince, tell a story. Let's use inform. Uh, audience, whether it's general, general, knowledgeable, or expert, and formality, informal, neutral, or formal. Then you click done. All right, and then from here it also points out um, a lot of the grammar errors, but it also gives you a score. So it gives you overall score. Um, it's a 51 is not that great. <laughs> it uh, correctness is 39 possible uh, punctuation or grammar or spelling issues. Uh, clarity is a bit unclear. Engagement is a little bland. Delivery is just right. Style guide is all good but the thing i like about this is it also allows you to check for plagiarism now this is with the paid version okay so let me go ahead and click on that it might take some time to load up okay and then it says obviously 100 percent of my text matches this source so it's exactly the source that i got it from so it, it just to show you that it works all right let me uh let me go back all right so then you have any errors you can go ahead and it will give you uh, a way to possibly fix it and then you can correct all of it right all the issues at one time and move on to the next one so this one they recommend instead of a comma 
period, right? Or a hyphen, a comma, comma splice, sorry. And then uh, so I used a uh, a period, and then so on and so forth. You can go all the way down. So this this I, I kind of like it. It gives me like an X-ray vision of the document. It gives me um, where I went wrong. Um, it gives me plagiarism. It gives me the readability. The UI for Grammarly is quite easy to use. Um, plagiarism detect detection is quite spot on. Now, the thing I don't like about it is it doesn't really have a paraphrasing or an AI function to this. So let's say I, I want this to be rewritten. It doesn't, it doesn't help me give me suggestions or it doesn't simp simplify this or reword this in any way. It just simply tells me what errors there are, um, and then it lets me fix it, and then it gives me a score about the readability and, and correctness as well as how much of it is plagiarized. Um, I've been using it for maybe several years now, and it, it's a decent tool. It, it does have uh, time on its side, so it, it's been you know, out there for a number of years, so it's reliable. But I'm gonna, I, I think the, the second uh, software I'm going to show you, the second AI grammar checker, is probably the better option because uh, it, it's, it's improving quite a lot. And I, I feel that it's probably the better option for the price. So that one right here is called Quillbot. And what Quillbot does, let me just go back to the beginning. Okay, so Quillbot offers a paraphraser. When, it, when I first used this, it was just simply a paraphraser. It didn't have any of these other features. So that's how, that's how far back <laughs> I've used it. Now, recently, or, or for me, I, I just discovered that it also added a grammar checker, a plagiarism checker. That's new. And it allows you to do something called co-write and summarize, as well as citation generator. So this is very, very uh, good for people who need to do a lot of uh, cited uh, papers with you know sources but and, and it does everything what Grammarly does when, when, when it comes to paid features uh, it checks for plagiarism it also checks for grammar but it, it does paraphrasing oops sorry paraphrasing quite well uh, summarizing quite well because I've used these two extensively and co-writing is a new feature so let me go ahead and check that out uh, sorry let, let me go ahead and, and, and let me show you what the paraphraser is real quick. So I'm going to uh, paste the same text that I've been using in the other two. All right. Uh, the free version gives you a limit of 125 words. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, delete this. All right. And then I was going to go click on paraphrase just to give you an idea of what it's like and how it works. So there you go. The first um, original paragraph is the karma lives with us. The karma is part of our lives from the very moment of our birth to the moment of our death because every time that we do something that even every time that we stop doing something that generates karma and you cannot avoid it in any way. And then the paraphrased version is karma is always with us, is part of our life from the minute we are born until we die. Because everything we do and even everything we don't do generates karma, which you cannot avoid in any way. Uh, personally, between you and me, I, I, I think the, the rewritten version uh, sounds a lot better. <laughs> okay, And if you don't like this rephrased version, you can go ahead and, and check, it, check it again. You can go ahead and, and rephrase it again if you like. But I, I like this, so I'm going to keep it. So you, you can just see right here the, the paraphraser it works very, very well. And this has been also been out for a while. Um, these, but however, these other features are are quite new. But Quillbot is is a, a solid AI grammar checker, a solid paraphraser, um, a, and a solid summarizer. Now, when it comes down to CoWrite, it also has a whole bunch of features that you can go go and explore as well. It has um, allows you to do research. All right. It allows you to. It gives you suggestions. All right. Uh, it also stores everything in the cloud and then it tells you it gives you like analytics all right so how the content will sound and uh, how long it takes to read and stuff like that so like dollar for dollar I would recommend quillbot 
right? If you if you want to choose, if you have to buy a software um, to, you know, you have to check a lot of written work, I would highly recommend Cobalt. And here's why. Let me just show you the numbers because you know, I, I like to use empirical information when I can. So Grammarly, right, when I have to pay for Grammarly, um, it goes for $12 a month. All right, I'm using the school edu version, twelve dollars a month. All right, and then if you go down to Quillbot, it's ten dollars. All right, ten dollars a month. Now you can even get it cheaper if you pay for it yearly, and it goes down to about four bucks uh, a month. Now that is way way cheaper in comparison to something like this. And it does more. Um, when, it, when it comes down to functionality, uh, this is basically, uh, you know, summarized. This, this AI grammar checker is basically just an, a grammar, I guess, uh, alert, <laughs> a grammar editor. It just gives you like a warning signals and then a plagiarism checker rolled into one for 12, about around $12 a month. All right, let me see. Yeah, $12 a month. And then Quillbot. <laughs> That's a it's it's the same thing as uh, Grammarly. It does grammar check, it does plagiarism checker, but it does it does paraphrasing, summarizing, co-writing, citation generator, um, and the price. If depending on what you know what you choose, but if you go month to month, apples to apples, it's around two dollars cheaper. And if you go annually, which you don't, I don't know if you have that option with uh, Grammarly. Uh, I don't see it. No, I don't. I don't really see it. So, yeah, basically you're stuck at twelve dollars a month. Um, annually, you you can lower it down to four dollars, around four dollars a month, or fifty about fifty bucks a year. Fifty dollars a year. That's way, 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 way cheaper. And and on top of that, you have unlimited words on the paraphraser. Um, you have unlimited so you have 6000 words on the summarizer that's that's per per month right um faster processing speed grammar rewrites so they actually help you rewrite the 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 text to make it sound decent uh, or grammatically correct and let me see compare mode only on desktop and you got a play, plagiarism checker right so uh, in essence, if I had to summarize Quillbot, it's Grammarly plus a uh, you know the grammar checker. It has the plagiarism detection, and it has AI basically AI writer built into it, a light AI writer built into this, um, all for a lot cheaper price. So you don't have to buy an AI writer, a grammar checker, a plagiarism checker because a lot of those things, if you were to buy separately, it would Probably, it may cost you more than this. Uh, I know a plagiarism checker can can run up uh, quite high, maybe like five to ten dollars a month. Some of them even more. And then you have AI writers that can be another ten or even more, depending on what what you pick. Maybe thir uh, twenty twenty or thirty dollars a month. Uh, and, and and that's a month for the AI writer, right? So if you're looking for an a, a cheap AI writer that's that's light, you might want to look into this. I know and it's unusual, but. If you're looking for a plagiarism check checker, you might want to look into this because it has all those features rolled into one. So uh, I just want to share with you from my experience. This is I, I put my money. I, I'm not sponsored. Okay, I, I had to. You know, let me show you real quick. I had to actually pay for this. All right. So Grammarly EDU is right here. Mm. Let me go back to Yep, Grammarly EDU is right here. So I just want to let you know that you know, for the for the price, uh, the the best free grammar checker, just Google Docs. Right? You just it's built in. You don't have to install anything, and it works, right? as you can see. Now the best free um, the best free AI grammar checker. I would say as of right now, because things always fluctuate, right? Now, this was the best, so I bought it, and then now uh, this one's better. I would recommend Quillbot. 
But I'll leave the link down below for both. You can go ahead and try it out uh, for free. It's uh, limited, but at least it gives you an idea of how it works. And if this video was helpful, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Manasuit. Thank you so much for watching.